Dear friends, welcome to Know Thyself YouTube channel. Good morning. Hope you're all staying safe and keeping well. I sincerely thank all of you who have subscribed to this channel and follow the channel. If you find the contents of the videos uploaded in this channel useful, kindly subscribe to this channel and click the notification or the bell button so that you can be notified when a video is uploaded. Kindly share the videos with others or in the internet. In today's episode of A Message to Manage Your Day, I would like to share some thoughts on the theme, Respecting the Other. Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr. was an American jurist who served as an associate justice of the Supreme Court of the United States from 1902 to 1932 and as acting chief justice in January, February 1930. He also served as an associate justice and as chief justice of the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court and was world professor of law at his alma mater, Harvard Law School. He is noted for his long service, concise and precise opinions, and clear perspective on legal issues. He was an influential American common law judge, honored both in the United States and in the United Kingdom during his lifetime. He was not only the most respected and most widely cited United States Supreme Court judge, but also a person who had great respect for others. He expresses his belief about respecting others with a sense of wit as follows. The right to swing my fist ends when other man's nose begins. What he meant by this statement is that others have a right to be respected and I have a duty to honor this right. Hence, I am not justified in swinging my fist of disrespect on the other. Instead, I must respect the other. We humans are social beings. We are called to live in interactive relationship with others. The interactive relationship may take place either in an I thou interaction in the personal level or in an interhuman interaction in a family or a community. Whether our interaction with others is in the interhuman level or personal level, it is important that there exists a genuine respect between us and others if our goal is to live with others in relationship. True respect for each other is possible only if we learn to be considerate towards others' feelings and words. A genuine relationship cannot be built if there is no respect for each other's feelings and words. That is why someone once said, respect people's feelings, even if it doesn't mean anything to you. It would mean a lot to them. When we are able to understand what the other thinks, feels, and speaks, and accept the perspective of the other, though it is different from the way we view things, there is a genuine respect for the other. For this reason, Lawrence Stern says, Respect for ourselves guides our morals. Respect for others guides our manners. Hence, when we allow our respect for ourselves to guide our way of living and respect for others to guide our mode of acting, then true relationship happens between us and others. Do I understand the significance of respect in building any relationship? Do I attempt to live genuine interactive relationship with others? Do I show genuine respect for the feelings and words of others in my interactions? especially those persons I do not agree with? Am I conscious of the fact that my respect for others could mean a lot to them? Do I allow my respect for myself to guide my way of living and my respect for others to guide my mode of acting? Am I respectful of others in my dealings with them? Dear friends, Henry Frederick Emil says, There is no respect for others without humility in oneself. As you begin this day, learn the art of being humble. 
so that you can be respectful towards others particularly towards people whom you are called to love and care remember your respect for the feelings and words of those you love can mean a lot to them allow your respect for the other to guide your love so that your love for the other becomes truly selfless and altruistic may the divine who respects you as a person with a rational mind and free will bless you today so that genuine respect for the other guides all your decisions and actions today this is my wish and prayer for you dear friends thank you for watching this video stay blessed until we see you again with another video